Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to be looking at my personal thoughts and feelings on Kurt Geiger as a brand. As well, we are going to be going through all of their best selling handbags. And we are going to rank all of them. I'm nodding like I understand, but I'm not so sure I do. But before we hop into today's first impressions of Kurt Geiger, if you guys love handbags, hauls, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that. Pesky. <laughs> YouTube. Al. Go. Rhythm. Welcome to Al Tear Four. Katie Price? <laughs> now, before we get into the real meat and potatoes of today's video, let's look at the ranking list. Starting off with A tier. Geigerlicious. This handbag is Geigerlicious. It is Scottalicious McFabulous approved. And there is no doubt in my mind, I would not mind having that handbag in my collection. B tier, absolutely stunning. That bag is absolutely stunning. Maybe if it, it, it might grow on me a bit more, but for the meantime, it's, it's pretty nice. C tier is not quite. It's not quite there. Like, it's cute. I get it. Not for me, really. Eh. Kind of teetering on. I don't really like it. And then a D tier. If you like it, I love it. Pretty self-explanatory. If you like the bag, I love that for you. I really don't like it. It is not for me. I was not in the thought process for this handbag. <laughs> But I can respect and admire somebody else that loves and cherishes theirs. You're behind all this? So first up from Kurt Geiger. Because girl, they got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I mean a lot of handbags, handbag styles, eagles, rainbow, metallics, pebbled, tons and tons of fun stuff. So we're going to first up look at the leather Kensington bag in rainbow. I'm going to throw this bag into B tier. Absolutely stunning. Now, I want to throw this into A tier, but I also want to throw this into D tier. We're going to realize that for me, Kurt Geiger is pretty polarizing. I either really like the bag or I really dislike the bag. And for this one, it teeters between the two. So I'm going to throw it into B tier. If it has right quality, I would like it. If it has eh, quality, I, it'll fall down the ladder. But for the most part, it doesn't make me hate it. It doesn't make me love it either. So we're starting off on a neutral start. <laughs> Next up goes to the Kurt Geiger Kensington Drench in all black the so black a tier absolute a tier um gurgalicious geigerlicious that bag is stunning they do this really beautiful so black eagle hardware black eagle hardware it looks like a raven it looks sickening I absolutely love it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that is probably my favorite hardware that Kurt Geiger does out of anything they do. Like, that hardware looks beautiful. I kind of want something with that specific black matte hardware on, like, an eagle for a bag, whatever, whatever. I think it would be really sickening in my collection. But something I'm really, really not for is the Fabric Mini Kensington D2. If you like it, I love that for you because it's not for me. I don't like it. I don't like the crystals or at least on this specific crystal bag. They look like they're like poorly glued on or something. Um, I have not seen these in person, obviously, so I don't know exactly. I don't know the exact T, but just looking from the images on this specific bag, I, I'm just like... This this leaves a lot to be desired for 
that type of handbag. You know what I mean? So it looks like they're super glued on. It's not really giving too much. I'm not impressed. Oh, I couldn't say I'm thrilled. Something that's also not for me is the leather Kensington in rainbow pastel. I don't like the pastel. I dislike pastels uh, quite a bit. So I'm going to put this one in deep here. If you like it, I love it. Because a lot of people do really like pastels. I'm just not the one. They are not for me, girl. And like a metallic pastel, yeah, it looks better than a regular pastel. But it, no. You're not getting my money. You're not getting my vote. After that goes to another crystal bag. The Crystal Kensington. Just the original Crystal Kensington. Nothing super crazy. It's just got a couple little linear, like a diagonal line or something of crystals going along the bag. Not bad. Like, it's not too much crystal. It's not incredibly cheap looking or anything. But I'm still going to put it in the C tier. It's not quite there. It needs a little bit more baking in the oven. It needs a little bit more thought process, I guess. Not to continue this low point, but moving on to the medium Kensington bag eye. D tier. If you like it, I love it. I do not like this in the slightest. It is very tacky. That design is so tacky to me, mama. Like, that just ruins it. That ruins a beautiful bag. For me. I can't, I'm sorry, I don't care. It is not cute. I want to close my eyes looking at it. I want to, I don't see you. I can't see you. Out of sight, out of mind. Not a cute bag. But if you like it, I love that for you. Girl, they made it for a reason. They must have had a test trial or something. <laughs> Someone must have said yes. So that bag's for you, girl. Up to a high point now. Finally. We're out of the trenches now. We are finally out of the trenches. The Kurt Geiger Leather XXL Kensington in black. Absolute A tier, Geigerlicious. This handbag is stunning. The big, massive eagle is like, I would actually like that in my collection. Like, I would actually like something like that in my collection. I remember when I was first starting out in handbags, I did come across these Kurt Geiger bags, especially the Eagle Head. The Eagle Head caught my attention immediately. That thing looks so dope. I really, really enjoy it. It looks edgy. It does fit my style actually pretty well. I just, I don't think there's even a Kurt Geiger in my area. Like, I think I might have seen a few bags in like a Nordstrom type of thing that type of deal, but I've never really seen like an actual boutique. I think it would be really cool to get a nice look at a boutique for Kurt Geiger. That'd be awesome. That'd be really fun. I'm terrified. But speaking of fun, <laughs> goes to the original Leather Kensington, A tier. Geigerlicious. This thing is Scottalicious McFabulous approved. Just stunning. Now, I definitely prefer the XXL because the big hardware, it's just big. It big. I like how much bigger the hardware on it is. It just screams in your face. And it's just, I again, I don't know if it's necessarily like more hollow or something or if it's cheaperly made, but it still looks a lot cooler than the original. Though the original still holds its own and is still an absolute powerhouse. I mean, duh. They might not be, like, highest end luxury, but they're still pretty nice bags. After the OGs, we move on to the Micro Kensington with Shimmer. B tier. Absolutely stunning. It is just a few point, like, a two, one point shy away from being Geigerlicious, like, A tier. Like, being, like, Mama, I, that is beautiful. That is really pretty. It's just the size. It's micro. I don't think I've seen anything in like a bigger size. So I'm like, Ugh. it needs to have points deducted. I don't like micros, but that piece is so cute. It is so cute. I really love the shimmer on it. It's shimmer. 
Like, literally, it's very unique looking. I think that's why I like it. Next up, we go to one of the latest in season crochet Kensington bag. A tier. I'm putting this in A tier. I think this is really unique. I think this is cute. I think crochet is really nice, actually. I don't mind crochet or knitting. Um, personal preference, I do prefer crochet. Uh, it's cute. I like how it has the hardware on it. It looks very, very spring-summer. This screams a spring-summer, and I could actually see myself using that. I'm, I don't like rainbow too much, so you're not going to see me put too much rainbow into A tier, but that deserves A tier. Next up goes to the Kurt Geiger tote bags, the South Bank tote. I really want to like this. I really, really want to like this. There's something cute about it, but I, it has to be C tier. Not quite. It's almost there. Like, it's almost there. They needed to just a little bit more time in the oven. Just a little bit. The metallics on it, beautiful. The model modeling, like, all five of them at once. I'm like, oh my god. Like, that actually makes me want the bag. Like, if that makes sense. You know when you see a model wearing something and you see, like... You, you're like, whoa, like, that's actually really cool looking. Like, I would like that. But then you actually, like, see the bag or, like, the item individually. You're like, oh, the model was just great at modeling the bag. <laughs> this is kind of one of those instances. It's like, ugh, it's cute, but, like, the model modeling it or is making them look stunning. After that debatable piece, we're moving on to the Kensington Bag Drench in the brand new orange color. A tier. I actually would love this. This is stunning. The orange hardware looks stunning. I have no idea if it would chip to hell and back. I don't care. I don't care. That is stunning. I know these colored hardware is like a big thing within the last couple of years and such but well within the last like year or so but I, I that one's cute I like that I I could see myself actively buying that do I have the money for that kind of thing no ma'am no no I do not <laughs> I'm nodding like I understand but I'm not so sure I do we are finally closing up on the final three bags for Kurt Geiger Kurt Geiger Ma'am, we could be here for like a really long time. So let's move on to the Kensington Soft XXL bag. C tier. Not quite. I, you're probably shocked. I know. I love pillow bags. I love that type of puffer look to a lambskin. This is just not a good style that's puffed. You know... Some quilts look really great when they're, like, quilted and, like, 3 d and all of that. But this is just not one of those for me. It's missing something for me. I think... I don't know. It Maybe if the leather was shiny. Maybe if they had, like, a sheen to the leather. But rather, it looking like it's a little bit more on the softer matte side. I think it would be better. Next up... Second last on today's list, it goes to the Kurt Geiger Shore Ditch Small Crossbody. This looks like it's in like a mock croc type of style with the eagle. I'm putting it in B tier. Absolutely stunning. I do think it's really pretty. I think it looks elegant and edgy at the same time. Mostly edgy. It's just... I feel like it's a couple style points because it, it, I mean, sorry, I feel like I need to subtract a couple st style points due to the fact that it's mock croc with an eagle on top. I don't, it's like two separate animals. I feel like there, it creates almost like a disjoint between the two. Like you either have mock croc or you have the eagle having both. It, it's not horrible. It's not bad. It's good. It's not amazing. It's not excellent. It's not, oh my god, show-stopping. But it's okay. The birds recognize the invitation and, using their sharp little beaks like a toothpick, and closing off with the most controversial piece in today's listing. It goes to one of the brand new 
Nylon Kensington Bags. I want to put this in D tier. Or A tier. I can't... I honestly can't put my... I, I can't make up my mind. I either really like it or I really, really hate it. Do you understand what I'm saying by this? It is Victorian age the house. Um, like... Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm blanking, Mary Antoinette eats your heart out. That's kind of what it's giving me, in a sense. Like, is it not? It's really stunning. But at the same time, I really hate it. I, is anyone else getting that same feeling where you really hate it, but you really like it at the same time? I'm putting it in A tier, Geigerlicious, and I'm putting it in D tier, if you like it, I love it. Because I can't make up my mind between the two. I think that's the first time on my YouTube channel, actually, where I put something in both A tier and D tier at the same time simultaneously. Because there's something about it that I want to love. And then, at the same time, I really hate it. When I first seen it, I hated the hell out of it. I was like, this is D tier. The more I looked at it, I'm like, A tier. Look at it again, D tier. Looking at it again, A tier. It... There's something about it. There is something about it. And in all honesty, there's something about Kirk Geiger. Kirk Geiger's not a bad brand. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's not bad. Um, I have felt a couple bags in person. I that, But that's it. In like a department store. So I don't really know for sure what a real... Um, from a boutique of Kirk Geiger or a store would actually look and feel like. Like feeling it. I feel like it would be in the realm of Michael Kors or Kate Spade. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred people, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety nine, ninety nine. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Kurt Geiger first impressions of the brand. My thoughts, my opinions, and the sneak rank video. <laughs> I haven't done a rank video in a while, actually, but I've had a lot of people, a couple of people in specific, that have spammed in my comment section. <laughs> I hope this suffices. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button. If you are new, hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day. Or Kurt Geiger ranked and my thoughts on the brand. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. <laughs>